Hello, hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for Thursday, November 10th, 2016. Let me start by saying to all the Marines, happy, happy birthday, 241st birthday, Semper Fidelis. I'm going to continue moving through um, my personal core values for leadership into courage. One of my absolute favorites to share with those who carry the mantle of leadership because it, not only is it one of the most important, it's also um, one of the most difficult to develop because real leaders in any institution from the family to the faith community, corporate America, um, to the national federal levels, they exercise this value to do the right thing, especially, especially um, in the most difficult of situations. And I said exercise specifically because um, courage, I, I have found through the years, courage is a muscle that has to be exercised. It has to be grown. It has to be stretched. Hi, Kathy and Sylvia, I see you out there. Miss Wanda, thank you for joining me live. Um, what I know for sure is that you would no more be able to walk into the gym on day one and, and bench press your body weight on day one then you would be able to have the courage to make the hard calls in a tight situation. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen because it takes time to build and stretch and develop and strengthen that muscle called courage. It is a muscle that has to be exercised. There must be strain and sweat if you're going to become courageous in your leadership. Um, when an employee is consistently late or lazy or receives um, complaints about their professionalism or, or customer service, do you address it directly, specifically, immediately? Or do you gloss over it by sending a mass email to everyone and just sort of addressing it in a general format? You know that leadership by email? Uh, someone gives you a compliment about the way you handle things and they go on and on. And then a few days later, there's a need to check them on a decision that impacted others on the team. But you let it go. Because, well, you know, it'll be a little awkward. Okay, I call that weak. That's weak. That was one more opportunity that you passed by to grow and strengthen and develop your leadership muscle. You let that slip by. You could have used that. There is coming a time when you must make a hard call. And it is going to have, it's going to take the courage that you will not have the strength to face. Because you haven't been building up your muscle. It, please do not be fooled into thinking that because you sit in a leadership position that the courage is going to become automatic when it's time to make a hard call. It doesn't work like that. It's a muscle that has to be built. There is going to come a time when you in your position, you see, you hear, you know that that family or organization or unit is dysfunctional. Uh, they're, they're not working anywhere near to, the, um, to their optimum capacity. There's no trust. There's animosity. There's jealousy. There's competition within the team. No collaboration, no communication. Non-existent. And you know that. You allow it to go on. It festers and it's going to explode. What is worse, everyone else knows that as the leader, you should be handling this. You should be addressing it. And yet too often, far too often, we run into our little cushy office and act as if those emails are the most important thing going on. The whole, the whole 
team is going to fall to pieces if you don't answer these emails. When all along, everything is falling apart and you don't address it because you don't have the muscle, you don't have the strength, you don't have the courage to address what literally could destroy and take down the entire team, the entire organization. Or what's, what's worse, you send an underling to handle your business. And you know they don't have the experience, they don't have the skill set to do that. You're sitting somewhere hoping that it works out. Praying it works out, that it goes away, wishing that it could be better. I've literally heard a leader say, look, we all got good jobs here, okay? We just, we got good jobs here. Everybody just needs to not mess it up. How dare you? No. All the while, your personal stock value is decreasing in the eyes of those you work with. Or worse yet, your strongest team members are leaving to go to other teams. It's just time. It's not. It, there's no one person that has a courage DNA. It is a muscle that must be exercised. Come on, leaders. Okay. We want all the prestige that goes along with it. We have a responsibility to do the right thing by those who work with and for us. And you gotta develop your courage muscle, okay? So, roll your sleeves up, let's do the work, all right? Take real good care, and I'll see you again on Saturday with another one of my leadership core values.